The Civil Society Legislative Advocati Advocacy Center, CISLAC, has attacked members of the National Assembly to be on guard for the sake of Nigerians and ensure that there is adequate oversight, especially on tax waivers granted international companies to operate in the country. The executive director of CISLAC, Aul Raf Sanjani, while speaking to correspondents at the House of Representatives Press Corps in Abuja, said there is also a need to place a spotlight on the loans being obtained by the federal government. Raf Sanjani commended President Wamad Abuari for giving assent to the Companies and Allied Matters Act 2020, saying it will help the federal government fight corruption. Action and identities are hidden behind obstructive and peck business ownership to loot state resources and reduce contribution to the Nigerian tax base. As you recall, many of the companies, they get very suspicious and scandalous tax holiday or tax waivers because the real owners of those companies are the people who are actually approving that tax waivers. So in other words, the country is losing huge amounts of money because some people are in the position to maneuver and give themselves waiver. National Assembly must continue to exercise its fundamental oversight role to ensure that whatever loans that are collected, especially those loans that they say is tied to projects, they need to make sure that they oversight those projects because in the first place, these loans, they are supposed to actually, you know, be used for those projects, specific projects, and those projects, they are supposed to pay back you know, the loans. So if you just continue to collect money and the money is diverted, the loan is diverted or is stolen or is mis mismanaged, how are you going to, you know, recover this and pay back this debt? So National Assembly must work off to ensure that, you know, they save Nigeria and Nigerians based on the mandate they have.